my channel. I actually can't believe that I am sitting in front of a camera again. Um, it's literally been two months since I've posted anything, which is just completely ridiculous, and I'm really sorry for that. Bit of a life update. I mean, I've been doing my placement, so this is my year out from uni doing work placement, and it has been really, really good. However, I'm still learning how to have a work-life balance and trying to do a nine-to-five job as well as doing this and it's been really hard i'm not gonna lie to just try and think of anything just to try and organize my life you know i do this i do a nine to five job i do synchronized swimming um i compete internationally with that so i'm training pretty much every time that i'm not working so it can actually get really really um crazy my life is so busy and i've still got to see like my friends my boyfriend so yeah, it's a bit intense. So that's why I kind of stopped editing my vlogs and doing any sit down videos. I literally just didn't have any time and Christmas is like family time anyway. But anyway, I'm back now. I know it, I'm literally filming this at the end of January. Um, probably won't go out until February, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, I thought I'd just pop back on here, say hi again um, and update you with just I don't know, my 2020 goals. And um, these are gonna be my social media goals, not really like my personal goals. I thought I would do this because I thought that telling you guys my goals will help me keep on track and hopefully make me achieve my goals. Um, so this is all like related to do with you and with me um, and just generally me being on social media and being the um, influencer <laughs> that I um, supposedly. supposedly. <laughs> and for those who didn't notice, yes, my hair is now a little bit blonder. I actually got my hair done just before Christmas because I felt like it. New year, new me, right? So anyway, this video is literally just going to be me talking about my 2020 goals and what I'm going to be up to this year. So, without further ado, my first goal is obviously completely travel related and that is to travel to five new countries this year. Um, I know this probably sounds a little bit sad to some people because to some people it might just seem like I'm just trying to like tick countries off a list um, but for me it means that I can expand my horizon and not just like go on holiday to like France and Spain again and again it means that I'm like getting out there getting to different cultures and I just love seeing like different places and meeting different people so currently at the moment me and Sam have just booked uh, to go away to Turkey in September, which I'm so excited about. And I've never been to Turkey. Um, the place looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. So that is booked. So we got one one country down. The other countries um, are, I'm planning to go to Malta with my two besties, Emma and Amy. At some point, um, we haven't booked that yet because we're just waiting on some timing things, um, but hopefully in the summer. Um, I'm potentially going to Poland with Sam again, but in March. So I'm gonna try and vlog that if I do go, um, because that would obviously be amazing. We're thinking of going to Krakow, and I really, really want to go there because the architecture looks beautiful, the culture just looks seems amazing. I just really, really want to go. So yeah, definitely down for that. And then, Finally, a new another new country for this year is Portugal. I've actually got a competition now in Portugal. We've got the Portuguese Open, me and Lauren. Um, we will be doing our duet and I'll be doing my solo. Um, hopefully if I learn my routine in time. <laughs> so it will be a, an amazing experience to compete internationally again. Um, the competition is gonna be really fierce, so pray for us fingers crossed so that makes four countries um i need one more so if you guys have any suggestions of where i need to go to this year then please put them down in the comments down below and i will be checking them and we can see where i end up choosing so my second goal this year is about youtube hello everyone um, so by the way we've just hit 200 subscribers which I know is like a little tiny goal for most people but I'm absolutely buzzing that 200 people actually care about my life this much and my vlogs <laughs> so my vlogs have actually been doing quite well. I think that that's something that you guys seem to enjoy I'm always getting like really really good views I just need to like convert them into subscribers but I'm working on it I'm still new to YouTube and still trying to work it out so I'm excited about that 
So my actual goal is to create more content for you guys and I'm gonna really try and aim to post every single week. I'm gonna try and post on a Saturday at 9 or 10 a.m. because depending on what time you wake up, but I think that that's sort of a good time so it gives you the whole weekend to watch my vlogs or my videos. I would actually quite like to try some more sit down videos like this because I do quite enjoy speaking to a camera like this. It's annoying for me to edit because I'm constantly going mm, uh, and doing some like weird face stuff like. Obviously I know what I'm doing when it comes to vlogs um, but I would love some more ideas for sit down videos so if you have any videos that you'd like to request then please just drop them down in the comments below. It would be really helpful for me because I'm having a bit of a creative block because I took too much time off over Christmas so it <laughs> would be really really helpful thanks. My third aim is to hit 20k on Instagram. Now I had a bit of a weird year with Instagram last year. I felt at the beginning of the year that I wasn't growing at all. I literally saw like no growth. It was ridiculous and I had a bit of a purge. I started my account in like 2015 or something and I had some followers from there who hadn't actually been on their account since like 2015, 2016. It was actually having a bad effect on my account um, because then Instagram just thought that like I just had a load of bots following me which isn't true and really annoying so I basically just went and deleted about 2,000 <laughs> followers which is fun. Um, so that put me down back at, I think it was around 14, 15K. And since then I haven't grown like a substantial amount. It hasn't been crazy growth, but I have noticed in the past two months or so a major pickup which is really really exciting and I think it's because um, I've obviously been putting so much effort into my posts and um, trying to be more creative with them. And I think creating my preset was a really good idea and people seem to love that. So yeah, so we're gonna aim for 20K this year. I feel like it's achievable because Instagram's growth is a bit slower now. You're not just really gonna go from like one follower to 20 here overnight but it's good to have a good aim and and i'm going to just try and get there so if you're not following me on instagram it'd be great if you could pop over and give me a follow that'd be great thanks finally my final aim for this year is that i'm gonna start tiktok oh <laughs> I can just tell that any person that's like my age or above is just thinking what the hell are you doing Emma, like what is going on? And the reason why I think that I'm going to start it is because we all said that Instagram was just for 12 year olds when it just came out and I feel like that's what everyone's saying now, everyone's like mm, it's just like 12 year olds like dancing around a bit or lip syncing and I think that actually putting my business head on I think it's going to be an app that will progressively get more inclusive in terms of ages um, and so I want to try and get on there and make my presence known and it's also good to have be on as many platforms as possible being an influencer <laughs> I hate using that word but <laughs> I just see myself as just putting myself on camera and just having a bit of fun but yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go anyway. I'm not even sure what sort of content I need to be putting on there or I want to put on there because I'm not really much of a dancer anymore. Um, I don't really want to do the lip syncing cringy stuff and I don't want to be that awkward, weird girl that's just like really like robotic and just doing some like weird dance moves on it. So I don't know, I need your guys ideas. At the moment I put on a bit of synchro just because I thought it'd be good just to like show people what I'm doing and actually show how hard synchro is as a sport. So, um, and me and my duet partner have actually created a joint TikTok which is just purely for fun, just us just laughing and joking around, just showing people what we get up to as synchronized swimmers. So. If you're interested in that sort of side of things then I'll leave all my links down below. So yeah, that concludes this video. I have four big aims to hit this year and I'm hoping to come back and do like a video at the end where I can say, yeah, I've achieved them all, so that would be nice. <laughs> so obviously it would be great if you could subscribe to this channel, follow my Instagram and follow my TikToks, woo! I think the aim for YouTube this year is to try and make it to that blessed a thousand subscribers, so maybe I could get some ads on here, woo! make a bit of income that would be lush so I also nearly forgot but like obviously another aim is to obviously get some better collaborations like well not better but just more I've had some amazing collaborations this year I've worked with co-op McDonald's that was the best oh, amazing and um, and also oh my gosh my favorite skiing brand Usk they are their ski designs are just incredible so I've had some incredible opportunities this year and I just can't wait to see what the new year brings because I'm actually getting to a point where 
I am suddenly earning a little bit more and a little bit more and you never know by the end of this year I could even potentially make a living out of this that would be really cool um, I'd love that I would absolutely love that because um, this is what I love to do but for the moment I am working my nine to five job until July so I will not be able to travel as much which is a bit of a bummer but it's okay because then I've got summer and I'm just gonna book out my entire holiday and just literally go to everywhere. That's my plan. <laughs> also on the way for you at the moment, I am finally getting around to editing my New York vlogs and my uh, Barcelona vlogs. So really sorry that they're so late. <laughs> they're literally like six months late, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> But I will, I'm sure you guys will enjoy them. It will remind you of the warmer times of summers. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time, honeys. Ciao.